Welcome. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Rory. Today we're going to make a cinematic style title, a 3D title that's going to zoom into the screen and then zoom out in a 3D fashion. We have a clip here we're going to drag into the timeline. I didn't want the audio. You can see it has two notes here so you know it has an audio. So if you hold down Alt and drag it in, it won't bring the audio with it. So we're going to right click in our media pool. We're going to choose new composition. We're going to click create. We're going to bring it into our timeline. We can see that it's five seconds long. I only want four seconds. I'm going to hit shift on the keyboard and the left arrow key. That'll take you back one second. We're just going to shorten it up to four seconds. We're going to jump over into the Fusion page. We have our Media Out node. We're going to bring in a Background node. We're going to connect that to our Media Out. We're going to come up here and turn down the Alpha Channel to zero, giving us a transparent background. We're going to drag in a text node, and we're going to hook that to our background node. We're going to highlight the text node. Here, we're going to type whatever you want. Change the color, change the font to your liking. I'm going to change this font to something like that. I'm going to bring up the size. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click in this text area here, our text box. We're going to go to follower. We're going to come up here to modifiers. We're going to click that. Here where it says order, we're going to change that from automatic to random, but one by one. We're going to come down here to the delay and we're going to set that to two. Now we're going to go to our shading tab. We're going to come down to rotation. And for our Z axis, we're going to make sure the playhead's at the beginning. We're going to set a keyframe and we're going to turn it slightly to the left just to tilt our letters a little bit. Then we're going to come up to about frame 36 and we're going to set our Z to 0. We're going to go up to the spline editor. We're going to click this icon. First we got to check angle Z. We're going to click this icon. I'm going to double click in the empty space. I'm going to hit control A to highlight and we're going to hit F on the keyboard. We're going to close the spline window. We're going to go softness. We're on frame 36. We're going to take that back to zero. We're going to set a keyframe for both X and Y. We're going to take them all the way to the right. Now we're going to come back to frame 36. And for our softness, we're going to slide them all the way to the left. We're going to go back up to our spline editor. We're going to uncheck angle Z. We're going to hit the zoom to fit button. Double click in the empty space again. Control A to highlight. Hit F on the keyboard. Now we're going to close the spline window. We're going to come to position. We're on frame 36. We're going to set a keyframe for offset Z. We're going to put the playhead back to the beginning. And we're going to set offset Z to minus 10. We're going to go back up to the spline. We're going to uncheck softness X and Y. 
zoom to fit, double click, control A, and hit F. We're going to close the spline window. We're going to go back to the edit page, and here's our animation. You can see the text flying in. Now that it's totally rendered out here, we have our blue line. We'll play that back. And there you have your effect. Now at the end, I want it to zoom back out. You see how it's zooming in? So we're simply going to hold down Alt on the keyboard, drag this to the right to make a copy. Then we're going to right click. We're going to do New Compound Clip. Hit Create. We're going to hit R on the keyboard. For speed, we're going to put minus 100. So that will make it run backwards. So we'll play that. And you can see it's zooming in. And now it's going to zoom back out. Now that it's fully rendered, I'll play that back one more time. And there's our effect. That's it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you learned anything. We'll see you in the next one.